Hello everyone, today I have something special for you. I gonna show you how you can make this beautiful chicken balotin and how you can use it in recipe with fondant celeriac, corn puree and mushroom sauce. So let's do it! And let's start with chicken balotin. So I have here some chicken breast and the first thing I need to do is to cut few nice strips which I gonna put in the middle later on. And then the rest I just chop roughly. Then I mix 200 grams of chicken breast with 50 grams of double cream inside the blender. Season it with smoked paprika, salt, pepper and garlic powder and I'm gonna blitz it properly. And you should end up with something like this. Now I can move it everything inside the popping bag and I can start with making a balotin. So I put some clean film on the table. I'm gonna do few layers like this, make it nice and flat, and then I spread my chicken mix on the top. I start with the piping bag, and then I finish it with a spatula, so I make sure everything is nice and flat. Now I can put my chicken breast on the top, and I roll it nicely. At that time, I completely forget to use some seasoning on the chicken breast, and then at the end I found out the middle is a little bit bland, so I totally recommend you to season the chicken breast as well. Just make sure you roll it nice and tight, without any air bubbles inside. And you can cook it like this, 65 degrees Celsius, for around 30 minutes. So the balotin is inside the water, and now it's time to start with my celery fondant. I have here one small celery, so I peel it first, and then I'm gonna cut nice pieces. You can adjust the sizes and shapes for your situation or for your plating you want to do. I'm gonna make rectangles like this. And you wanna sear them with a little bit of oil first, so you get nice color on the top. Then you can deglaze them with a little bit of white wine, reduce it down, and then I cover it with water and spices, and I'm gonna cook it until they will be soft. Of course, if you have some stock, chicken stock or vegetable stock, even better. For my spices, I'm using all spice, bay leaf and rosemary, but you can be very creative with these. And in the meantime, I can start with my corn puree. So I have few shallots here, so I just chop them roughly, and half shallot I chop really fine for my spinach later on. And now I start with a little bit of the vegetable oil, make it hot, and I sear my shallots with some peppercorns. In a few minutes, I can put my corn in, and I'm gonna sweat it for around 5 more minutes. I'm using frozen corn, but you can also use fresh corn. At the end, you cover it with water and double cream. And now I can imagine that there will be again many people in the comment asking me for the recipe. How much cream to put? Or how much water? What are exact measurements? And that's the point. I don't share exact recipes on purpose. I don't want you to think like that. I don't want you to just copy my recipe. You need to start thinking in a different way if you want to be a good cook. Okay, so if I put too much cream, I end up with a soup. If I don't put enough, the puree will be too thick and not smooth enough. So I have to put the right amount because I understand why and not just because someone showed me the random recipe. If you start thinking this way, you start to actually cook and not just copy recipes from other people. And that's the reason I don't share recipes, because I don't believe they teach you anything in the long term. Not just because I want to hide them from you or sell them to you. Because you can ask any of my personal students and they will tell you I don't share recipes even with them, even if you pay me for the coaching. I would rather teach you how cooking works and how you can create your own recipes and develop your cooking styles so you don't have to just copy what others do. And that's the reason why my students can learn in just few months more than most home cooks in their whole life. Because they don't just learn new techniques and rules, but they learn the right mindset about cooking and understand how to be creative in the kitchen. By the way, if you would like to be one of them, I have time for a few more one-on-one -on -one students at this moment. So if you're passionate home cook and would you like to learn all the basics of fine dining cooking, basically take a massive shortcut in your cooking progress. Check out the link in the description below and fill up the short form on my website. And if we will be good fit, 
I will personally help you with your cooking goals. And now let's finish the puree. I cooked it for around 15 minutes and now I can transfer everything inside the blender and blitz it properly until smooth. I season it with the salt because there is no salt whatsoever till now. I pass it through the chinois so I make it nice and smooth, transfer everything inside the plastic bottle and it will be ready for my plating. And now let's finally finish the meat. So I take out the clean film first and then I cut it in the middle so we can see how it looks inside. In my case I put good amount of meat inside the middle but if you want you can put less chicken breast and more of the mix. And to finish it I just gonna sear it on very hot pan so I get nice color around. And on the second pan I just sweat some shallots and garlic and I cook fresh spinach on the top. I just season it with some salt and pepper and the spinach is gonna be cooked in one minute. In the meantime the meat is getting beautiful color as well. So let's finish the dish. At this time is my celeriac ready as well, so I just take it out from the liquid and if you want to boost the color a little bit, use blue torch as I do. For my sauce, I will use my mushroom sauce, which I did already yesterday. You can check out the full recipe as a bonus on my Patreon page. And by the way, if you still didn't see my Patreon and would you like to see my bonus content, learn about some of my favorite sauces or crisps, ask me personally any questions or just support my channel, check out the link in the description down below and join my community on Patreon. I see you there. And now let's finish the plating. I start with few spoons of the spinach. Then is coming my corn puree with good amount of pepper inside. One beautiful piece of my chicken balotin, celeriac fondant, some nasturtium leaves, and I finish it with my mushroom sauce. So what do you think guys? I think this is a success and I guarantee you this tastes even better as it looks. So I totally recommend you to try it at home. And if you want to learn another recipe with chicken, check out this video with chicken breast, baked radishes, carrot puree and lemon sauce. Thank you for watching and I'll see you soon.